Hi there! In this video, I will show you how to configure Ursalink LoRaWAN sensor. First, remove screws on the button of the sensor and take off the upper case. Next, take off the motherboard. Remove battery port tab. Press and hold the button for about 3 seconds. Release when the light is on. Here is a tip to check the status of the sensor. Press the button. If LED is on, it means the sensor is turned on. If LED remains off, it means the sensor hasn't been turned on. Put the motherboard back and restore everything in its due position. There are two methods to configure the sensor. Method 1. Configuration via USB. Use Type-C cable to connect the sensor to a PC. Open to a box of version 6.8 or above. Select corresponding serial port. Login with default username and password. Click power on to turn on the sensor. Then click read to catch the sensor info. Open LoRaWAN settings. On the basic tab, you can view device EUI and app EUI. Choose join type, change app key, turn on or off ADR. On channel tab, you can change frequency, choose a support frequency, select a channel and add the frequencies you need. Click device settings. On the basic tab, you can set up a reporting interval, change login password, Calibrate sensor. And set up threshold alarm. Open maintenance. You can update, backup, and reset the sensor. The other way to configure the sensor is via NFC. If your mobile phone supports NFC, you can configure the sensor via your phone. It's easy to use. Contact your phone manufacturer to check if your phone supports NFC and the position of the NFC on your phone. Please put the NFC antenna of the sensor close to the NFC dictation area of your phone. In the process of reading, do not move your phone away. After reading complete, you can view the sensor information and configure it. Open Status tab. To turn on off the sensor, you need to click Device Status. Open Setting tab. On LoRaWAN settings, you can change join type and frequency. On General settings, you can change reporting interval, change password, Calibrate sensor and set up threshold. You can update, backup, and reset the sensor. After the configurations are done, you need to verify the password to continue. Next, 
put your phone close to the sensor. The configuration info will be written into the sensor via NFC. To configure the sensor on a PC, you need an NFC reader and connect it to your PC. Put the sensor close to the NFC reader. Open to a box of version 6.8 or above. The configuration via NFC is the same as configuration via Type-C cable. Please refer to the previous guide. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. See you next time.